think life, we, we've heard this evening about how just three cents, a tiny amount of money per day from each EU citizen can make a huge difference by actually sustaining the Natura 2000 network. And I think the story of life is a similar story. It's about how very small amounts of money have and can continue to achieve uh, very important things. Um, it's a shining example of successful EU funding. It's proven to be highly cost-effective, bringing measurable environmental benefits as well as socio-economic benefits. The misallocation of resources, which is often a characteristic of other EU funds, is not an issue in the case of life. The fund is an ex excellent example of EU action that delivers visible added value to citizens. And in times of budgetary crisis, EU funds must be allocated where each cent delivers multiple benefits to society. This is exactly what the EU Life Fund does. It contributes to maintaining our ecosystem basis, and investment in ecosystems is good investment. For example, it's been estimated that for each euro invested in Natura 2000, society get back, gets back 33 euros and 50 cents. Now that's not a bad return. The tourism alone generated by Natura 2000 creates between four and a half and eight million full-time equivalent jobs in the EU. On the other hand, failing to invest, failing to invest in our natural support systems could cost the EU no less than one trillion euros by 2050 in lost ecosystem service. In conclusion, to achieve the objectives of the EU 2020 strategy, and to maintain the EU's reputation as a global green player, not least to green the economy and multiply the benefits of life to the environment and the whole of society, the Life Fund must be significantly increased. Thank you.